Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to create a fair 2D terrain material. Uh, so I'm just going to start by um, showing you how to create one of the materials that I've already exist that already exists and later in another video I'll show you kind of some of the techniques for looping things properly. So first of all, um, right click in your project window and you'll get create fair 2D terrain material and that will give you a blank terrain material that you can work with. I'm going to call this one demo terrain and we need to add in both of our edge and fill materials first. The edge is the, the material that goes along the outsides of the terrain and the fill is the inside bit. So I've got two down here. I'm going to do the rocky one. So rocky for our edge material and rocky fill for our fill material. And that'll give us access to the, the material editor here. Okay, so in the material editor, uh, we have one category for each edge, the top, left, right, and bottom. And we've got this nifty little interface for doing things here. Uh, so first of all, this image I've, is like a mm, 256 or 512. It's a 512. Um, and so I should be able to, to just lock things to a grid here, essentially. So first of all, I've got two caps, one on each side, and then two body segments in the middle for this one. So uh, let's see, cap width here should be 64 a piece, and then I have two body slices. And so this was the, the simple interface, all right? I just used the, the simple interface, which kind of reduces the options down for you into as few items as you possibly can. It works in some occasions, in others it doesn't, and you'll see that with the bottom piece right here in a little bit. Uh, if I uncheck the simple, you can see that it breaks it down into four completely separate pieces. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna create a terrain piece using this real quick so that we can actually see the uh, adjustments to it. So this is a demo terrain here, um, and okay, and it created a skirt one because we only have the the top edge defined already. Okay, yeah, so. Not completely finished here, but now we can actually see it in action. Okay, so I'm going to do the left side now. Use left, and that should be this chunk right here. So do 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 do. So that gives us a really quick preview uh, of that. Um, and just to adjust it to perfection, um, I'm going to put this to 128. Oh, oh, that's 1128. 128. Here we go. Uh, position of x is zero. Okay, so now we've got that. So if you look at this, you can see there's a little bit of a gap here, um, and I think I've actually set this up properly for this, but I want to get rid of this gap, so I'm going to do a little bit of a, a squeeze in here. So uh, x is going to start at 1, and it's only going to go to 126. And as you can see, there's a small little thing there. Uh, we just have to paint our material a little bit better to get rid of that, but that's not so bad. Um, you definitely can't notice it at a distance. So the other thing here you'll see is that this edge is over top of that top layer, which doesn't look right. Um, and to do that, all we need to do is adjust the Z offset. Now, um, the fill is actually uh, 0 0.05 away. Uh, so we want a really small adjustment, that way it doesn't go entirely behind the fill. So I'm just going to do it at 0 0.01. And as you can see, it then jumped behind that top edge there. So that's good. That's, that's all we need for the, the left side. Same thing with the right side. This is, should be this piece right here. Uh, so I'm going to quick do this for it. And again, this should be... I'm going to give it a 1 here and a 126, and that should be pretty much perfect over there too. So let's see, how does that look? That looks fine too. Now, um, this one isn't overlapping, but it will in certain cases. Like if we do it down here, it should overlap there. Um, so again, Z offset for this one should be 0 0.01. Okay. Now, uh, in some cases, you might want this to, to line up better with, with the edge up here or something like that. You can use the Y offset to move it in or out from the edge. So, yeah, it all depends on, on your terrain piece, but that can be a really useful thing to have. 
Um, all right, now the bottom one. This is this is not the simple bit. So use bottom, and this is the bottom piece, and then we have two caps for the bottom. So uh, I'm gonna uncheck simple here, and this is going to be the body segment. So oop, here we go. Do do do. And this one's a little bit of a tricky one to get right because do do do. Yeah. All right, so X should be at 128, width should be 128. And if we want to get rid of that seam again, let's do one up and down to six. So hopefully that should be good. So that's that's the body segment there. And in most cases, that might even look all right. Um, let me see if I can get a, a bottom piece here. Do, 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 do. So there we go. Yeah, that, that's that's looking all right, except for that corner piece, <laughs> of course. Um, so all we need to do is add those caps in. So we've got a left cap and a right cap. So I'm going to check left cap. And uh, tying this down to the right one should be fine. I'm going to look at the preview up here to, to see which one's the right one. Uh, so it looks like it's this one. <laughs> OK. And I kind of want this to line up right. Uh, that looks about right. Um, I'd probably want to look at the image itself to get that perfect, perfect. But you know, we can see here. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe bring it down a little bit for the width. Maybe 40. Let's see if that works any better. Yeah, there we go. So that that's that's almost perfect right there. Cool. And same thing with right cap. So. <laughs> That shows up a little better. <laughs> and so X should be at 128. Well, yeah, 129 is good. And then all we have to do is get that to line up properly vertically. Uh, so, and again, I'm looking at the preview up here. Okay. That's about right. So this is just some of the transparency stuff. Okay, so now that's cool. Um, the other one here, the cap, so cap offset on this one will probably be really good for us because that'll help us blend in a little bit better with that. So um, there we go. That's basically, you just created your own material right here. Pretty simple. Um, assembling your materials is relatively easy. It shouldn't be all that difficult, especially if you design it in uh, a grid-based manner. You can also just kind of you know try it around and get numbers from from here too. Um, the the boxes really kind of let you experiment a little bit, but I I generally recommend that you get your numbers from Photoshop first. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching.